what is up guys welcome back to another video today we got a big day we got some work to do because i think i mentioned it in the last video here in the old bait shed it's about to become winter here in kentucky and the one thing i really need to get done is insulation and drywall that way i can stay in there making baits i'm also gonna be making this into like my youtube office like we're gonna start making like main channel videos in there so it has to get done and well uh we're getting her done we got all the insulation all of the drywall to at least get the walls done i don't know about the roof just yet but we got everything we need to at least get started on the walls where are you going <laughs> so yeah we got some r13 insulation this is like 15 inch by 32 foot or something we got seven rolls of it it should be enough to get all the walls done and then we got i think nine four by eight sheetrock we got a bunch of stuff in the back we got putty we got tape we got screws we got a little spatula things and i already went ahead earlier today i went through and cleaned pretty much everything out there's still a table in here let me get this light turned on real quick huh. so yeah i've already came in here i swept up i cleaned mostly everything out we still got the table probably just gonna work around that maybe i might end up taking it out i don't know still need to take down the pegboard take down the whiteboard i don't know what i'm gonna do with the workbench just yet i don't know if we're just gonna do it go around it or if i'm gonna end up taking it off the wall and like actually drywalling it and putting it back up i don't i don't know i think for right now i just want to get started with the insulation never done insulation never done drywall before so y'all are all gonna witness me with just my youtube video knowledge try to do this i don't know it doesn't seem too hard it seems pretty tedious so if i got any professional drywallers or professional insulators or whatever don't don't listen listen you're not here to learn. You're strictly here to watch me attempt to do this and laugh at my mistakes, okay? <laughs> and yeah, it's like 8 o'clock when I'm starting this. Listen, I've been running around. I went to Home Depot, looked at everything. I was like, huh, I might get it tomorrow. Then Anna came home and I was like, you know what? Let's go get it. So I made two trips to Home Depot already. Listen, I'm just kind of ready to get started. So yeah, let's uh, unload some of this insulation. Let's get to work. So yeah, um, basically this video is not going to be a how-to at all. I'm just bringing you all along for the process. I might explain what I'm doing, but if, if you want to learn to drywall and insulate, don't watch this video, okay? <laughs> watch the 20 videos I watched before I started doing this, then you'll kind of have a little bit of knowledge on how to do it. And I just kind of want to get this first wall done, see what it feels like, see what we're working with. I feel like I should probably wear gloves with this. Uh, everybody I watched said you don't really have to with this light. This R13 stuff, it's not like that fiberglass stuff that you like have to wear gloves with. I'm gonna, just in case. I don't want it yet. Charlie, this is a construction zone. Get out of here. Oh yeah, we're insulating now. Oh yeah. Yeah, literally. Good to me. Sheesh. That wall looks insulated. I can't talk. That wall looks insulated to me. It already feels cool. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. There's one roll. That looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. First roll insulation complete. And that's good too because so far, so far, the math that I did in my head before I ordered everything, it looks like it's going to be at least close to what I think I needed. <laughs> so far, so good, baby. Let's go. Y'all can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm just starting up here, going down, getting close to the bottom, cutting it shoving her in there i'm gonna get everything in there first and then later on i'm gonna come back with a staple gun and just go through and put staples in it just to hold it in place you don't actually feel like i feel like you don't really need to but you're supposed to and i bought the staples already so we're gonna do it right but yeah dude i'm already proud we got like what 10 percent done <laughs> i'm already proud of it let's go Thank you. 
and that was almost perfect. Needs like three more inches, it would have been good. <laughs> Boom. Just like that, we got the first wall of the shed insulated. Bro, piece of cake. That took me like 10 minutes. Absolute piece of cake. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. But now, I need to bust open this here. Staple gun. You bust this open and go through it and just staple around all the edges. Just put it in there and let it make sure it holds everything in place. And we'll be ready to just keep on moving, bro. There's going to be a lot of time lapse in this video, so y'all just sit back, relax. Enjoy watching me do all of the labor. <laughs> That staple right there officially makes the first wall in the shed completely insulated. It's done. Let's go. That wasn't too bad, bro. It really wasn't. Got that entire wall done, maybe 30 minutes. Now we just uh, got to do the rest of it. So <laughs> your boy's already sweating. But hey, it's got to get done. Let's get to it. All right guys, that is two walls, completely insulated, stapled in, everything, the whole nine. Your boy is sweating. It's it's literally like nine o'clock and it's, I don't know, it's like 90 degrees out here for some reason. But since it is getting late, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start unpacking some of that sheetrock from the bed of the truck. I'm not excited about it because this stuff, it's heavy for no reason, bro. Like, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start packing. Eight more to go. Last one. I forgot I stripped that screw like all the way out. <laughs> Damn. Damn, how long is this thing? Got it. Right. Now we're in business. <laughs> And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a fully insulated shed. For the most part, at least. We still got the, the triangles up top on both sides. But other than that, bro, we're kind of solid. Also, I have around the top where the roof meets the wall. There's not insulation there. I need to burn some pieces right there. Yeah, I actually just realized that. Dang. But that's all we're doing for tonight. Hey, this was a successful day's work in my opinion. I mean, hell. My 
My arms are itching to high heaven. Like, bro. <laughs> so, I should have wore long sleeves. It's insulated. It sounds different in here. It feels better. Like, this AC, bro, it has it cool in here. I'm excited. I'm excited. Tomorrow, we should start putting up some drywall. Yeah. Tomorrow, we got a lot of work ahead of us. So, yeah. I'm going to go in. I'm going to take me a shower. And I'm going to go to sleep. And we're going to get up first thing in the morning and get back at it. So, yeah. Y'all got to stay tuned. All right guys, here we go, day number two. Time to get some drywall up. The insulation is definitely working. It feels a lot different in here than outside. I'm kind of excited to start getting the drywall up. You know, I'm sure that will change once I actually start doing it. <laughs> but I'm ready to get it up. I was watching videos last night, kind of going over the whole process again. And I think I, think I know what to do how to do it so yeah first things first i gotta clean this place up get some room and then we'll be ready to start measuring and cutting you gotta stay tuned boom there we go that's a lot better gotta try to keep the workplace as clean as possible <laughs> basically the process i'm gonna go right here where i need a piece i'm gonna measure it measure it out i'm gonna take the piece of drywall i was gonna use saw horses i'm not i'm not doing all that i hate my saw horses they're the most unstable saw horses you'll ever see in your life so instead we're gonna set the piece of drywall on the ground measure it out mark it all out and then just take a razor knife cut it snap it off then set her up there and screw her in that's that's pretty much it it sounds a lot simpler than it's probably gonna be <laughs> i gotta make sure to measure twice cut one hell i might just measure like four or five times and cut once <laughs> but yeah here we go let's get to it i don't want to hear nothing your boy has a square pencil yeah i'm a professional but all right so we're gonna start right here which is kind of a bad place to start because this corner doesn't have a two by four to really like screw it into 86 and three quarters Sorry, 86 and three quarters. Eighty-six. We're gonna take our board here that has a semi-straight edge to it. Looks good to me. All right, now we got some drywall screws, uh, an inch and a quarter. I didn't go all the way up to the second one. And I'm kind of regretting, I don't know why I didn't think about that before I cut it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I think I would rather go all the way up to the ceiling. I don't know. I really don't. But other than that, everything looks pretty decent. It sat right in the middle of this two by four like I wanted it to. The cut wasn't terrible. Okay, so first piece already ran into a problem. For some reason, I was like, all right, we'll just go up to this first two by four. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. But I think it will look better if I go all the way up to the top. So I think that's what we're going to do for the rest of it. first piece she's up there there we go baby the first piece of drywall is up i can tell you already i would do insulation every day of the week before i did this for one whole day bro this is bad <laughs> i might get a hang of it after i get a couple pieces up but so far by yourself at least this is tough but hey she's up there she's on there she ain't coming off let's go ahead and get started on the second piece That's starting to look like a wall. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Two pieces of drywall. Done. Complete. It's only took like 45 minutes, but hey. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the process. That's basically what we're going to do the entire time. I'm not going to record all of it because I would have like six hours of footage and I don't want to have to go through all that. So yeah, I'm going to finish up this wall. Probably show y'all the first finished wall. And then we're just going to get to it. We're going to get we're gonna get the back wall done. We're going to get this side done. I'm going to get to work and I'll see y'all here in a minute. There we go. That is the first wall of drywall complete in the shed, bro. I mean, it's a wall. It's there. <laughs> it ain't pretty by any means, but it's up. That's a lot of work. It really is. Uh, bro, 
My respect for drywallers through the roof right now. Y'all are insane. There's no way I could do this. I mean, I'm sure it'd be easier with like a lot of people to help you. But still, bro, doing an entire house? No, not for me. I'm gonna stick to YouTube, all right? <laughs> so yeah, there's the first wall. Now we got that wall, this wall, this wall. We, we got a lot to do. <laughs> Let's get to it. Well guys, there we go. Let's see, I started around 10 and it's 4.11. So six hours, six hours by myself. That was a lot, that was a lot. And you know, again, it's not pretty. It's not, you know, butted up to where it needs to be butted up to. I don't care, I do not. We got a wall, that's all that matters. It's insulated, we got a wall. Now we can putty, tape, putty again, sand, and then get to painting. But that, we're gonna save that for a whole nother video. I've already maxed out my GoPro SD card. So if y'all want a part two to this, to me actually, you know, putty and everything, going over it with tape, sanding it down, and then painting it, I might put up trim too. I'm not for sure yet. Also need to figure out the, uh, the little triangles up top. I need to do something with those. Those definitely need some sort of insulation on them at least. And yeah, y'all let me know how you think I did down in the comments. You know, at the end, I was just kind of cutting wherever I think it needed to be cutted just to get it on the wall. Especially like underneath the workbench and stuff. It's the bro. Don't even look under there. It's bad. Now let me know down in the comments what y'all think. How did I do? I think it looks really good. I really do. I'm excited to get some putty on it and get it looking complete. It's bro. I'm proud of it. I am. So yeah, y'all let me know. Do you want a part two? Thank you guys so much for watching. It's JT and I'm out. Peace.